Hello, beautiful souls. Time, maybe distance, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting that someone has their eyes on you. There's a masculine energy that has their eyes on you, divine feminine, watching you extremely closely at this time. Okay, let's get the next message here. This is someone who you can be yourself with here. I'm getting this is someone who you can really, really unwind and talk to, like have really, really deep conversations with, okay? And not even think about it. So this may very well be a friend. This is someone that you feel extremely comfortable with here. Okay, you could have had very, very vulnerable talks. This is someone who you could have considered to be a confidant, someone who you definitely spoke to in confidence about certain areas of your life here. But this person is coming through saying, Look, I love everything. Your highs, your lows, okay. Your good days, your bad days. This is someone who is in love with you, Divine Feminine. Wow, I just got that so clearly. This person is in love with you, and I'm getting you don't even know that this person is in love with you, or you don't even know how much this person feels for you emotionally. Wow, that was very, very clear. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, I'm kidding. If you only knew. So if you're thinking about a person right now or there's some type of masculine energy in your proximity, you, I'm kidding know exactly who this person is, Divine Feminine. You may be definitely feeling as if your person is not affected by this because of what they're showing externally. If you have access to them in some kind of way, maybe on social media, maybe you have mutual friends, they're definitely affected, but they may have a way of not showing this. Okay. And they're very intentional about not showing it as well here. Okay. So let's get the next message. Wow. We have why can't I get over you. Yeah, that's exactly what your person is going through. So what I'm getting right now is that your person is definitely going through this process where they're asking themselves so many questions about you. But this is still someone who you deem to be very, very special to you. And this person's energy is coming through, you know, from this very, very calm place. They're definitely asking themselves or going through this mental process trying to figure out how you are allocating your time, who you are spending your time with, because you're not with them. Okay. Yeah, they're feeling a little territorial. Let's get the next message here. You don't have to do anything, okay? And your person feels that way because, initially, they thought that this break was going to give them, you know, space and time from the connection. Maybe they would have the opportunity to clear their energy a little bit, maybe be a little distracted from the things that were going on here so that they can totally clear their energy and then come back into this, okay? But what I'm getting is that from the moment you stopped speaking to them, from the moment this separation happened, you have been pulling on your person's energy. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love. From that day, it never stopped. Okay, it never stopped. So, if you've been worried about this feeling of detachment that you've had recently from other people, I almost get like you may be kind of in this daydreamy state of being where you just don't feel very grounded. You might find yourself kind of lost in your own head, feeling like you're not really communicating as well as usual. I am getting, first of all, that a lot of this is just you overjudging yourself. I'm picking up that for whoever I'm candling here, you might actually just generally have the tendency of being very hard on yourself and really holding yourself to a super high standard. I feel someone's guide saying you don't have to be on all the time socially speaking and when it comes to your communication. Now for some of you, this sense of worry may actually be connected to that thing that you're waiting on. And if that is the case, I feel like this is a very positive sign of confirmation that whatever you feel like you've been waiting for, particularly if it involves someone communicating with you. I'm getting for some of you. This may have something to do with getting approved or accepted for something or receiving some kind of a sign from someone about how they feel towards you. If it's relationship-wise, again, take this as it resonates. If this is related to your life or work, this may have to do with an acceptance. If this has to do with a particular relationship, 
then this may have to do with really figuring out how this person feels about you, getting some kind of sign of confirmation. And again, I'm getting this very strong message of holding your ground mentally, emotionally. Also, not jumping to any conclusions if that particular communication seems to be a little bit delayed here, because there's something about timing coming up where you might be feeling as though that communication you're waiting for is delayed in some way. And again, do not worry about any of that. It's going to be coming in. I am getting a message of guidance from someone's spirit guides that it could be very beneficial to you to do a positive visualization regarding this thing that is important to you or that feels in limbo, that feels like something you're waiting on. Because your imagination is extremely vivid and powerful, and I'm candling that specifically for someone listening here, like you've always had a very vivid imagination, a very vivid visualization faculty, and you can actually utilize that to manifest things in a way that can feel instantaneous. In fact, you may have noticed this recently in small ways. You would visualize something, even just for a few seconds, let it go, and suddenly it would manifest into your life. You would recognize, wait a second, that's something that I actually visualized. This may not have even been intentional manifestation. It's just that you're in this place where you might be finding these even unintentional instant manifestations happening. They might seem small to your conscious human mind, but they're really powerful signs of evidence of just how good of a manifester you've become. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.